Hello and welcome to Tabletop 24 and thank you for joining us for another Kickstarter unboxing. Today we have Endless Winter Paleo Americans from Fantasia Games. As you will see, this is an all-in pledge. Um, it has got pretty much everything that they released for the game, or at least I'm hoping so. Um, so there's going to be a lot of content on this one, um, and I'll try and get through as much of it as I can as we go. Um, haven't yet played it, so even on some of the online platforms, so not too sure of all the components but we will get there as we go but first up the first thing to mention is these lovely play mats that came in the edition so we will have this one which will be our map board for the hexagonal tiles which i believe should fit in this box um that is followed by the complete board um artwork for all of the sort of additional modular boards and things and for the card markets and such that you got in the base game so if you don't want to get all the cardboard bits out you've got this so that don't think that will fit in the box we shall try obviously um if not that will probably be one that stays at home and and the use the boards that are in here so we'll come back to some of the all these extra little bits as we go through but we'll start with the main box. Now this is the big box and it should fit all of the expansions that we've got. So. Now you may recognize some of the artwork from, it's from the infamous of the Miko. Um, so all of the artwork has been produced by them. Okay. So first off, so we've got some advertising material. And then we have our rule book, which is a nice linear finish. Having looked at the electronic version, it looks fairly straightforward. There's a lot going on. Rule book looks okay. It's just going to show us how to run through the game. Then we've got our solo mode rule book. Then we've got how to organize. So that's going to be very useful when we come around to it. Um, and all the different trays that we've got and all the expansions that we've got. And we have a bit of foam. Okay. So I'll play with our fracture markers on. I'm not going to go into those in too much detail because um, we did get the upgrade pack for those. Um, and I think for a lot of these bits. So we'll go through that instead. So then we've got our play markers with the mammoth, I think. And we've got our workers and our 100 score chip. I'll pop those to one side. Then we've got our camps. Goes in there. We've got some blue translucent cubes and then straight into the main box itself it's not all been set up yet so you can see that there's this the scope for this so we've got our player trays here uh, each with its own lid this was i believe the expansion tray which is going to hold all of our expansions uh, I'll double check what's going on under here Aha. Under here is all of our punch board. Um, so we've got our player trays with fantastic artwork on there. And these are double ed. Then we've got all of our punch and So we have the main board. Like I say, that is then covered on the play map. But this does enable you to be a bit more modular of where you put your boards. Then we've got our punch board with our island tiles and some of our, um, I think, abilities. Um, and we've got some more of the punch, another part of the board. The I think this is the animal board and some more terrain tiles. So all of those we've got 
for the game obviously we've got the map for most of it um so that might be a little bit different on how we do things um and then finally in this box we have the main tray so we've got these really 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 nice and see if we can get these to the camera right there um washed chieftains so we'll be using those right each of our players then we've got our huts which are really nice and really quite detailed in our into our player colors um our uh, surf dials for our chickens One of the boards that I think set up for uh, main play. And finally, here we do have our cards. So we're going to crack through these so we can get on with those expansions. So here we will have, I think, these are some of our player decks. Allow us to give us uh, actions on what we're doing. I think we've got the requirements for them in the top left and what they're doing at the bottom. Again, fantastic artwork, um, but would we expect anything less from the Miko at the moment? Okay, so there's our chieftains, and we've got some of our paintings some of the action boards okay In there. okay and we've got some more uh, these are all the same uh, so these are the I think these are the individual decks that allow us to purchase specific types of people. We've got the Elder and the Pathfinder. And we've got the Pathfinder again. Uh, Hunter. Tribesman. Tribes Woman, Brave, Altars, Tribesman. Ah, these look like the, the specific player decks. Yeah. Okay. So there's really nice artwork on those. Looks like it's going to be a very card-heavy game. Um, so, um, and we have got the players and the um, sort of at play raids. Okay. We've got our animals that we're going to be hunting, collecting. I really like some types of blueprints and setups and requirements for scoring that looks like it okay so that looks like quite a lot already in there I'm going to open up next the resin component of Greg so that's going to obviously go straight in here and let's get that open There's lots of bits to that. So in here, I'm not going to get these ones out, but we've got our um, hundred markers. And then we have got each of our uh, player colors. And I think these might be neutral. Oh no, no they are our five, five player colors. So we will get these out. These are really, really nice 
um, and tactile resin components. It's great. And then we've got these rival markers, which I must say, they've got a little bit of weight to them as well. So they're really, really nice. Um, really detailed as well. So um, looking forward to using those. Uh, next up, we're going to go with a small expansion. So this is the ceremonial grounds, uh, which gives us a couple of extra uh, places and you've got the rules for that in there. So that's going to go straight in there. And um, we'll put some of these back. Right. Uh, and we'll get rid of that for a second and then we're going to go with our largest expansion first which is our cave painting and this will give us the option to be a bit more creative in the game and it does come with some dry erase markers for us to be writing on the walls um, nice short rules this probably adds the most out of all the expansions um some punch board for some extra tiles um extra abilities um and then these are our double-sided animal boards that we will be drawing on to create our cave paintings then we've got some additional animals so we've got the hegemon horse We've got a dry, dry race, like we said. And then we have some additional items that are going to be allowing us to paint. And you've got your painter there. It will be added to the main decks, I believe. And I think that is everything. But as always, give me a quick check. Yeah, that is everything. So not a lot there that's been going to go straight into that base box, which is great. Those horses away. And that was the cave paintings expansion. Next we have the rivers and rafts. This is going to add a lot more exploration tiles for us with the ability to go fishing. We're going to get some landmarks as well in here. So we've got some specific river tiles that will be allowing us to explore. You can see the fish that we've got on there as well. And we've got some rather large landmarks. We'll be competing for. And then some boats for our players. Block or some description. I'm quite interested to watch this. Um, I think it's just literally a black block. Ah, it's part of it's a monolith um, for the landmarks. So, a little bit strange, but uh, different. And we have another animal set. So, still a sea cow. And some more. Cards. We have the warrior, who's obviously going to be going fishing. Um, and then we've got the landmark cards that we're going to have available to us. So, again, not too much extra in the expansion for this one. Um, just a nice sort of additional module, if you will. And then, last up, we have the ancestors expansion. It's going to give us a little bit more variety to the game. And I know there's a lot already going on in the game, but um, it's going to add to it. Uh, 
Um, again, short rules. Don't have baggies. Um, we'll come back to some of these because these are extras. Um, but we'll look at this module specific. So we've got another board. And we'll come back to that. And we were going to have the some more animals. So we've got the mastodon, the terror bird, longhorn bison. And these essentially will swap out from the base game set. So you won't use both of the same colors um, in the set, but you can swap out um, any of the cards that are contained in here with the base game to give you that little bit of modular variety um, and see how you want to play the game. Um, again, once you've had a few games of it, you might then go, oh, let's switch up what we're using um, and I'll enable you to do that. Uh, those. Uh, we got the Nappa, uh, the Healer, uh, got the Storyteller. Okay. Uh, the next deck, which has gone, continues on with our Storyteller. Right, a lot of cards being opened in this, so appreciate everyone bearing with us. Um, so we've got the Storyteller, the Trailblazer, the Tracker, and then we've got different Chieftains. Or the same Chieftains, but different um, a variety with them. So that is the Ancestors expansion. Um, and whilst we've got that open, you'll have seen there were some extra bits and pieces that came up these are all the promos and a couple of extra modules so we already saw the um one of the promos this is the yeti promo so um if anybody gets this link with the uh, saber two squirrel and the nut um a little bit of a nod there and then we have the yeti so they're a bit of a promo deal for us to bring to the game then we've got the canine familiars. These are going to be doggos that we are going to be able to pick up and purchase to help us hunt and gather. Um, and you, again, these ones are all swappable out and changeable as you go through, just giving you that extra little bit of variety to it. And then we have the Aurora Borealis, um, which has got some really, really nice artwork that will give your tribe something special to go after so these go to the specific tribes you can mix it up but um you don't need same for that and lastly you will have seen a space um in the in the main train next to the chieftains for this um but this is the mammoth um promo that will come in the game so it's another module that enables you to move around the board it's a really tiny little bit of rule book uh for you there as well um to for the mammoth but that is a nice little extra there's gonna be a lot of variety going on in this game do question whether you're gonna to have to keep up with all the variety and how many times you're gonna get it played but if this becomes your main game of choice there's obviously a lot of options for you there with all of those expansions all of those modules so thank you for joining us for this unboxing of endless winter paleo americans if you haven't done so already, please check out other videos on the channel, give us a like and a subscribe, and we will catch you next time. Take care.